All right, second grade friends. We have just learned about the artist George O'Keefe. Now we are going to make our own Georgia O'Keeffe inspired landscapes. So to start, you have your white paper. You're going to put your name and class code. Flip it over so that's on the back. You're going to have quite a few things at your table. You're going to have your paper towel, your water bowl with your paintbrush. You're gonna have a tray of paints on your table that has quite a few colors. We have a light blue, a dark blue, a really light yellow, some orange. We're going to have the yellow and green tray, an orange and red tray, and just a green tray. All right, first thing we are going to do is we are going to take our light orange and remember you're going to share with the people at your table so I have my light orange and I'm going to paint the bottom of my paper with my light orange I would say paint about a fourth of your paper so if you split your paper in half and then you split your paper in half again that's about how much you're going to paint with your orange Now you're going to kind of imagine a landscape as you're painting this. So I'm kind of thinking maybe this orange is my grasses or maybe it's sand. You have to come up with what you think it is. Then I'm going to clean off my brush. Make sure it's all the way clean, test it on my paper towel. Looks clean to me. Then you are going to get your light yellow and you are going to paint all the way up to halfway up your paper with your light yellow. Just like this. And if you want to kind of overlap your orange a little bit, that's okay. So you can kind of see those brush strokes. You can kind of see my brush strokes there. That is okay. Then I'm going to rinse off my brush once I've painted about halfway up. dry it off. Then we have our little tray of just our green paint. I'm going to get just the tiniest, tiniest. Can you see that? Look at how much green paint I have on there. Just the tiniest bit of green paint on my brush. And then I am going to kind of just show off those brush strokes just in that yellowish paint. So if this is kind of some sand down here, maybe this is my grasses, my tall grasses. It's up to you to kind of decide what your what is in your landscape. Remember, Georgia O'Keeffe uses some pretty fun colors in her paintings, but you get to kind of decide what these things are gonna be. So I think this is my grasses. You can see my brush strokes. I only dipped my brush in that green one time. And look at, you can see how bright it shows up in that really light yellow. Then I'm gonna make sure to rinse off my brush, dry it on the paper towel. Then I'm going to get my dark blue and we're gonna make some mountains. So about halfway between my paper that's left, so you can see each thing that we're gonna do is gonna take up about a fourth of your paper. So here's, if you think of it, your paper split into four sections. One is my orange, two is my yellow, three is going to be my mountains, and four is going to be my sky. So I'm going to go about halfway between here, and I'm going to make some mountains. I'm gonna do kind of like a tall mountain and a little bit of a shorter mountain. And go all the way across. Then I just wanna fill in that whole space below it with that dark blue paint. There we go, there are my mountains. You can always go back and make some a little bigger if you want. There we go. All right, once I have some mountains on my paper, I'm going to rinse off my brush just like we always do. 
test it on my paper towel. Oops, looks like I still had a little bit of blue in there. Rinse it off again. Test it on my paper towel. Looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to get my light blue, and this is going to be for our sky. So everything that's left that's still white, that's for your sky. I'm gonna fill this in with my light blue. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna set all of these paints aside. And what I have left is my little tray of my yellow and green and my little tray of my orange and red. On each of these trays, you're going to have a little sponge. One side is kind of scratchy and one side is more spongy. You wanna use the spongy side. And on the bottom of your paper, you're going to get your one of your sponges with your green and yellow you are going to kind of dip into both. So I'm gonna kind of go like this, doot, 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 doot. Just like that, you can see it's kind of both green and yellow on my sponge. Now I'm going to just kind of sponge that on to the bottom of my paper. These can be little flowers or more grass. Again, it's up to you to kind of decide what you want that to be. But there I have some little flowers or grass at the bottom of my paper. Then with my red and orange, I'm going to dip into both of those. There's a different sponge for your red and your orange paint than there is for your green and your yellow paint. Don't mix them up because you have to still share with those friends at your table. So now right here on this line between my yellow and my blue, I'm going to put my sponge of my orange and red. Now this, again, it could be flowers. I like to think that these are flowers because they're really bright colors. Right there next to my mountains. So maybe down here I have some bushes, maybe some sand, some grasses, some flowers, my mountain, and my sky. That's about it for our Georgia O'Keeffe inspired landscape.